Hey, what's up everyone? This is G-Shock High Fashion Channel coming back at you with yet another G-Vlog. Today, we're going again to another series in this channel, which is the triple unboxing video where I'll be unboxing some G-Shock that is in used or in complete condition, combine everything up. So without further ado, let's get to it. Cue the intro. Alright, you guys notice here we have a Hyundai Color Series B, MW or Supra and a Frogman. You guys probably asking me why do you still add in this model into this video? Haven't you made an unboxing video for it? Yeah, I've made an unboxing video for it but I realized that I actually don't have the, mod the manual for this model when I bought it. So it's considered as incomplete model and that's why I bought it into this video. And this model didn't come with any tag and it only came in this regular black box so the only special about this model is the BMW word that was printed on it and I'll relook everything back the printing on it is pretty incredible you guys notice there it went all the way into that band hole over there and stopped right in the middle of it not all the way through and at the back it all just you know this based on the Heather color series and yeah you guys already see it moves next to Frogman. I bought this Frogman used. They come in a complete condition with all the band, the price tag, the manual. This is it, the box and everything. This is the original box by the way. But this model was in used condition so I'm not sure if you guys could notice the damage on it there. Just a really tiny like bruises and like edges damage over here and you will notice over here at these edges it's really hard to see but there is some if you look it up in person the middle are all fine the back plate for this are also fine which is really good because it's hard to make to find a replacement for that the most terrible part on this model is the band itself though we have this buckle mark over here and all the way down there the most damaged part is up up here I am not sure how it got here all these bruises and everything the bank keeper as well forgive my nails though I just done cooking by the way right the buckle luckily is just fine because scratches on steel part are oh man really hard to tolerate all right they are just fine the punch they are functioning really well everything is fine that's basically on this part this model is currently getting into the dead stock market I mean dead stock status because I'm guessing that is because Casio is releasing a new type of frogman this month June so that's why they are stopping this this production of, over here because a lot a new better one is coming out so maybe that's why so it's pretty hard to get this model from now onwards if you watch my video that I told you about Casio always always um restocking this model but apparently they are seems like they're going to stop doing that for a while now maybe after they realize that the new release model the june release model is way out of our price range like 130,000 yen man i cannot afford it even though i really like to have one all right this is the supra that i got and let's go through the details on the damage of this part I bought this watch used on Yahoo Japan auction for 18,000 yen if I'm not mistaken, yeah. Slightly lower than retail but still in great, great price. And we have the damage over here in this band keeper holder, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna name this part a band keeper holder because it holds the band. And you can notice the canvas part already scratched out and you have that tiny like, hair thing going. And the leather upper here lot of bent mark at the end here it's all good and the most clear part is the bottom part of the band i bet the person who use it is like bend it all the way here and worn it like actually wear the watch check this out check how damaged this bit this part got this part almost came out if i'm not mistaken there the part that is glued to this canvas part already almost came out so yeah maybe use this part a lot uh, here the bottom part of the band we have some dirt mark I think I'm going to clean this thing up after this wait all right here it is same condition but luckily the band keeper are all good not damaged or broke at all so the glue is all fine so you guys even notice there it's like really minor there it's 
see from the reflection like four to six to eight part upper part minor like tiny lines of scratches that's that's all on this part but still in great condition and I bought this too so that I could show you guys how to make oh man yep it's good oh thank god and I'll see you guys in the next one this is G-Shock High Fashion Channel and um out